Japan's Prime Minister ordered the controversial restart of two nuclear reactors Saturday. The BBC has the story. Japan is to restart two nuclear reactors, the first to resume operations since all 50 were shut off in the wake of the meltdown at the Fukushima plant last year. The move has elicited large protests by those who believe the country needs to stop relying on nuclear power. Al Jazeera reports. It's a decision that's angered some people. Hundreds of anti-nuclear protesters gathered in Tokyo to demand the government permanently stop relying on nuclear power. And the government is responding. The country is taking action to separate business ties and energy needs by forming a nuclear regulatory system. The Los Angeles Times says the proposed nuclear regulatory commission, guided by a five-member board free of financial ties to the industry, will replace the much maligned Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency, which has regulated nuclear production from within the government trade ministry. While Japan's prime minister is facing tension with the public, he assures them the reactors have passed several safety checks. He plans to restart additional reactors in order to sustain Japan's economy, The Economist reports. His aim is to set an aging, shrinking society back on course after it was shaken by the disasters of last year. The prime minister is also staking his reputation on a second belief that Japan needs to restart some of its nuclear reactors to prevent the economy from being crippled by energy shortages. According to Sky News, Japan is debating renewable energy targets of between 25 percent to 35 percent of total power generation by 2030. Before the Fukushima crisis, nuclear energy generated about one-third of Japan's electricity. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.